In this video, we will highlight how to use asset turnover ratios in Excel. Asset turnover ratios include inventory turnover, days sales in inventory, receivables turnover, days sales in receivables, total asset turnover, NWC turnover, and fixed asset turnover. Write asset turnover ratios in cell M2. Write unit in cell N2. In cell O2. Write equal H2. Press enter. From the small box on the right bottom. Drag to cell R2. Now we have the years of analysis. Write inventory turnover in cell M3. Total inventory turnover is cost of goods sold divided by inventory. Its unit is times. In cell O3. Write equal. Choose cell H4 divided by cell B5. Press enter. Write days sales in inventory in cell M4. Days sales in inventory ratio is 365 divided by inventory turnover. Its unit is days. In cell O4. Write equal. 365 divided by O3. Press enter. Write receivables turnover in cell M5. Receivables turnover is sales divided by accounts receivable. Its unit is times. In cell O5. Write equal. Choose cell H3 divided by cell B4. Press enter. Write days sales in receivables in cell M6. Days sales in receivables ratio is 365 divided by receivables turnover. Its unit is days. In cell O6. Write equal. 365 divided by O5. Press enter. Write total asset turnover in cell M7. Total asset turnover ratio sales divided by total assets. Its unit is times. In cell O7. Write equal. Choose cell H3. Divided by cell B9. Press enter. Write NWC turnover in cell M8. NWC turnover ratio is sales divided by net working capital. Net working capital is current assets minus current liabilities. Its unit is times. In cell 08. Write equal. H3 divided by. Open bracket. Choose cell B7. Minus cell B13. Close bracket. Press enter. Write fixed asset turnover in cell M9. Fixed asset turnover ratio sales divided by net fixed assets. Its unit is times. In cell O9. Write equal. Choose cell H3. Divided by cell B8. Press enter. We now have asset turnover ratios for year 2012. In order to get the ratios for each year. We will highlight all asset turnover ratios from cell 03 to 09. Then from the small box on the bottom right. We will drag them to the right in order to fill automatically in year 2013, 2014 and 2015.